Hey, whoa, that was, you're inside my head for a minute. Okay, didn't expect to see that coming. Anyway, you're back on the AMF Core Lab server with Bjorn Strong on the arm. Uh, this is standing here in the nether in front of my farm that we built last time, this Blaze farm. And uh, I had great plans to log on, logged on uh, last night actually, kind of getting all ready to come around here, make this place look nice, kind of fix some of the uh, more uglified parts of it like we have kind of over there. Um, started doing some digging for our path and then I found something. Let me show it to you. That's right, there are pigmen spawning inside my farm, and I do not like that. So I chatted a bit, uh, one of our server members, Cocky, he reminded me that I can use regular ice in the nether, and so I've went and changed that out, you can see it right there, and that mobs will not spawn on regular ice. So that helps a bit, that uh, helps somewhat, but they can spawn on the slime blocks, and so there are still, well, and the obsidian here, the slime blocks over here. And they can also spawn within the uh, you know, spawning chamber. There are those bits of obsidian here that uh, they can spawn on there. Because you saw that. You saw that guy who was sitting right there uh, making fun of me, you know, mocking me. Jerk. Anyway, uh, so I, I put in a kind of temporary solution here. So if you're AFK here, you know, you're not going to get uh, any pigmen spawning. I mean, what's really terrible, what you really, really don't want is to be AFKing and throwing splash potions and you're maybe secure in your spawn room. But a pigman shows up in there and you hit him with a splash potion of harming and he gets mad and he, his friends kind of on the, maybe above there or out there, hear him. And so you come, you finish AFKing, he's all dead. He's been hit by splash potions of harming long enough and you open the door and then 50 pigmen stand outside and smack you in the face. And you just, you don't want that. That's just not, not going to be good. But if you're standing here, even if that was all spawnable, you're just too close. So nothing's going to spawn. So you're really only at risk when you turn the farm on. So the thing to do, of course, would be come in here, you know, look very carefully in the farm, see if there are any pigmen anywhere, maybe, you know, hop down, uh, hop down and see if you got any, you know, and if you don't, then just run it. And if you do, what you can do is you can run it. And it turns out that the pigmen aren't going to move on these uh, ice sliders the same way and with the, with the pushers the same way that the blaze do because the blaze kind of float and the pigmen walk. So some of them won't even make it up. You can just wait till they either clear out by falling out of the system or by kind of ending up right up here. And then I, the temporary solution is you can just crush them like that. So you see I pulled out some of the glass to put these solid blocks in and part of it was so I could do that. So that's a temporary solution, and it, it certainly works. It does the job, and we can, you know, use this farm just fine. But I don't know if I like it. It just feels a little bit too, I don't know, too Mickey Mouse, too, too you know, not doing things the, the proper way. So I have a, another solution. Uh, a, a way of redoing the farm. So it's still the same concept. It still uses the same uh, kind of chamber here. It still pushes these guys all around. But there are no spawning spaces. There's no sort of exposed slime blocks that they can possibly spawn on, uh, like there are down here in this new design. And there's also a kind of pigmen filtering system. So I'll just kind of explain the idea. So the idea is that, um, so if, if Pigman and uh, Blaze fall into here at the same time, the Blaze get caught on that, but the Pigmen fall faster. They kind of fall right through. So what you can do is right after this pushes out, you can have, and of course this has to be not obsidian. You need to be a little careful how you do this, but 
you have to we do things in a little a few other ways here too. But the idea is when this pushes out, this a few seconds after pulls back, and you just have a hole, and you can you know drop them on cactus if you want to kill them, or if I mean I think right around here. No, okay, so right around here is uh, the actual stuff. But you know if we were like back over here, you'd do that, and they'd kind of fall right through. And then I have no slab to replace that with. Oh yes, I do. Um, you know, fall through if you don't want to, you know, kill them. So that they may spawn in here, but they get filtered out. They'll never kind of come up there. So I could definitely do that. Uh, the the downside, I mean, two downsides. One is I've made this thing, and I've made it twice. In fact, you saw last time I miscalculated by a block, and I had to come and redo the whole thing, and that was a big pain. And now I'd have to do the same thing. I have to tear all this down. And redo all of this as well. Well, not all of this, but all of this as well. And on top of that is the new design is bigger. So both it comes out a few more blocks this way. So I'd have to dig out this room a few more blocks like that. But it's also deeper. It's actually it's ow. It's quite a bit deeper. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many blocks, but there's a couple other things you have to do to make it work right. That means that. Uh, when all is said and done, it's going to be between, you know, five and ten blocks further down. So that's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, let's say. So let's see, that's uh, y equals 51. So let's come on down here. So I'd have to come down here. This is pretty low. But, all right, that's 50. So come down to here maybe and just take this floor all the way out to there and build up those walls again and then have to rebuild the uh, the farm itself and you know i just i just don't know do you, hello can i uh, can't get through there come on move out of the way anyway while they're while they're talking about it i'll just keep talking down here uh i, I just i don't know if it's worth it if it's worth all the effort to uh, bring this down you know flatten it out to put in to put in you know a proper farm so i I'm really torn about it, two minds about this, because uh, on the one hand, on the one hand, I uh, would like to, you know, do this properly, to get, get, get the, really the, the, the kind of, you know, mob farm that I can really be proud of out of this. And on the other hand, man, it's a lot of work, you know, another episode on that. So, uh, so I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, go think about it for a bit and figure out what I'm going to do, and then I'll get back to you and uh, tell you tell you what I think. All right, I, I've decided. I've decided. I'm doing it. I am going to tear down this uh, half this thing and put in a pigman proof version. In fact, I've already done the first half of that. I've torn down all of this for yet a second time. Uh, well, I think it's uh, while I was oh. Hello. Ah, and I don't even have a weapon on me. Typical. Anyway, let me just kind of hop down away from him. Uh, and what I was saying was I've torn this down and I've made this, you know, room a, a fair bit bigger. Like I said, about six blocks down and kind of four more blocks this way. And I wasn't sure it was the right decision. When I was tearing these things down, I kept thinking, oh, is this overkill? Am I just being like too sensitive? But uh, I've also been cooking all of this material here. So as I think you might have seen in the last clip, if you come down this way, there's this lava here. So I've just been running down and picking up buckets of lava every so often and running back and using it to cook all the nether rack that uh, I've been cutting out of this. And I found about, oh, I'm guessing about 50%, get these blocks, 50% of the time, I'll come back and there'll be a pigment inside of there or before I turn that down this even you know, inside on the uh, on the slimes and a little surprise I'm thinking there's not that many spawning spaces kind of in here compared to the fortress that's all around in the back but for some reason the pigment just seem to really like it here and I just can't be having with that I just you know it's it's Yes, you can run it and then you can stick them all in that spot I had and crush them once through before starting, but it's just not really, it's inconvenient. I don't want to be coming back, you know, running this thing all the time and, and having to 
time after time. Always check, make sure there's a pig man. So I'm, I'm satisfied now. This is the right thing to do. Uh, so the room's ready. The uh, old the old sliders and, and pushers are out of the way. Now it's time to build, put some new ones in. And there it is. Let's uh, turn it on, give it a go, get some, uh, some guys spawning. And while we do that, let me tell you a little bit what's different. So down there, as you can see, there's some packed ice. And uh, so that's kind of a... One of the important features here is, or, sorry, some non-packed ice, some regular ice. It's an important feature because the mobs can't spawn in it. And you see there's this row of trap doors here. Now the reason for that, as you can see, the uh, blaze goes just past it just fine. And he gets shot up by an elevator like he's supposed to do. But a pigman has a slightly higher hitbox. The blaze is a little bit less than two blocks high, but the pigman, pigman's just about two blocks high. So when that pusher comes along, the pig, any pigmen that happen to have spawned in here are not going to end up uh, getting past that. They're gonna get stuck on that pressure plate. And then if you watch careful, it's kind of hard to use the black glass here, but you should be able to see it. Once these guys get pushed past, that is gonna open up. So it pulls back. Yeah, it's hard to see, but it does, it does pull back. I'll go down and show you in a second. Uh, it pulls back and opens up a hole. So any pigmen that are there will fall down into that hole and I can just open that hole up into the nether below. So that's, yeah, that's, that's the main difference. Uh, there's a few things I had to do to make it work right, and I'll show you those in a moment. But first, let's look at this, this kind of hole here. So here's that, that ice you were looking at. So once this top uh, goes forward, there we go. A second later, you see that pulls back and gives things a chance to fall. And here's where they'll fall. So I'll, I'll you know, take out this glass, put up some glass pillars around just to kind of close it in. So that's how we deal with pigmen. Now, we have to do one more thing, and that is what we didn't want is any pigmen spawning on, kind of inside the slider chamber on any of the uh, slime blocks. So instead of having slime blocks just sitting here waiting to push the blaze when they showed up, we have these slime blocks that you can see are actually in the wall that then will come out and up and back and over. And it's timed so that uh, the blaze slide they slide to here as they're falling, that kind of comes out and pushes them up. There's also some cactus down there, so if for whatever reason one doesn't quite make it, they'll just float down on the cactus and die. But that's, a, that's pretty rare, it's timed pretty well. And the last thing, I think I'm too far away, they're not spawning. So let's see if we can get a few. But the last thing is, you can see there are, see the pistons right here, and this uh, kind of row of ice that's sticking up here. This is a barrier because the uh, blaze don't slide at kind of a uniform speed over the, the regular ice, but they do over the packed ice. And so what I was having is some of them would go right to there and get pushed where they were supposed to, but some of them would go a little bit too far. So they'd slide maybe to here or here because they'd go a little faster. And when that came down, hey man, you're up in my grill. I'm, 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 I'm showing people stuff here, man. Get out of my way. Come on, get off my farm. Go, go. You weren't invited. All right, jerk. Anyway, um, as I was saying, uh, they went too far. So I just put this here to stop them. So this just stops them so they're all at the right spot when this then comes around and pushes them. And that's how, how it works. And as you can see, it works really well. So oh, who's firing at me? Oh, they do get aggro inside sometimes. It's just a little glitch, and it's real annoying. He's going to crush now, so it should be okay. Uh, one thing I think I do want to do is come in and put some uh, half slabs kind of up along here, and that makes it even harder for them to kind of get get a line on you and like, glitch and see you. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and turn it off. So I need to still, you know, make it prettified. That was my goal. You can see I started, when I built it this time, I, I, I just started by making it with a bit of a pattern. I've got this kind of uh, nether rack and yellow stained clay motif that I'm going with. I've got to take this out this way as well. But I think the first priority here, before I even get it too much prettier, is really putting in the AFK system. And so what I want to do is have a potion dispenser hooked up to a weighted pressure plate um, along with a kind of fail safe. And uh, I'm, I, I get the system. I didn't make it up myself. It comes from Impulse SV. He uh, did it on his Minecraft Hermitcraft, uh, you know, Hermitcraft Series 3 videos. So I'm going to just take that and use it because I think it works real nice. It'll it'll serve uh, for what we what we want. Let's get these guys out of the chamber as well. 
So to do that, I'm going to need to grab a few uh, bits of redstone that I don't have on me. So let me grab them and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and I grabbed some redstone and I turned on my camera and I put recorded myself putting in a bunch of redstone and I learned something important, which is I should not record myself putting in redstone. At least not when I'm doing it on the fly like I was here. So rather than, uh, than uh, you know, showing you that, which you don't want to see, trust me, I'll just, just explain what's going on here. So I've got a hopper minecart here. It's sitting on side of, uh, on top of, I mean, a hopper that comes across to a line here that will eventually extend out into the hall and into some storage. And it's a hopper minecart instead of regular hopper with soul sand, as was often done, because we have this weighted pressure plate here. So as blades fall on here, they'll power this block. And of course, the the uh, hopper here would get locked. So we don't want a hopper there. But um, on top of that, it's a weighted pressure plate. So every 10 uh, mobs or so, 10 entities or so sitting on that will make the signal strength kind of one farther. So currently, you know, nothing's on there, so it's a zero. If I threw something on here, well, if I threw an object on here, get sucked in. But um, if something was standing here, they would go to here and after like 10, it would, the 11th I think would go to here and so on. So when it gets out to uh, 40 mobs or so and the signal gets to here, that will then fire this pulse extender. And the pulse extender will then fire a pulse into um, these droppers, which that was my test there, um, should have some splash potions of harming in it. So I just have one empty hand and I stand here right next to it with my right click stuck down. So once that gets out to 40, it spits a potion in my hand and I throw it and it kills the blaze. And I get all their XP comes uh, sucking up to me and all of their blaze rods go and get into the system. Now, one thing that, um, that you might fairly wonder is why bother with this pulse extender? Why not just take, you know, a, or put a repeater right here and take this thing kind of straight out. And the reason is because what happens is all the blaze die and when they die, this goes up and this, this line goes off. And then when they die, then a second later or so, all of their blaze rods and XP kind of land in this pressure plate and send a signal back. And if you just take the signal straight to the dropper, then you're standing here with your right click, you know, held down and uh, you get a second potion, but there's no blaze sitting there. And you, the potion kind of flies, flies at you. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, flies at you and you throw it out and nothing dies and you just waste a potion. You don't want that. So by having this pulse extender, what you do is you keep, you, know, you fired this, but you keep it hot. When that second signal comes in, this thing is still hot. It doesn't get, you know, the, the notion that it needs to refire. And so you don't get a second thing coming out there. And it's a fairly short pulse um, extender. So you haven't made it that long. So by the time you get, you know, even out to here, it'll have reset and it'll be ready to give you another one. Now, the other thing that is going on is if it comes out, you know, 10 more, and for whatever reason, those blades haven't died, the signal's still here, then this, uh, let's put a temporary block there, we've got this signal that I've stair-stepped down that will go back to the crusher and lock the bottom of the crusher right here. So it keeps working, it keeps opening and closing up there, but this just stays stays down. So these guys, they get crushed over and over again. Now, none of this is original to me at all. Like every aspect I've just mentioned of the, of the AFK system, I'm stealing directly from Impulse SV. And like I said, I'll put a link to his description, but that's what we've done. So this thing is now fully functional. We have a fully operational battle station. Um, what we need to do now is to make it look nice. So I'm going to grab some materials and come and see what we can do about that. Uh, you're going to go up there? You're not going to go up there? Okay. Um, uh, that's not good. Let's, uh, yeah, that's not good. Let's, uh, let's, let's fix that. Let's, uh, let's fix that. Okay, so the problem is right here. These guys are occasionally just kind of sitting right there and not falling over. And uh, that's bad because if it happens too much, then over a long AFK session, you can get a build up here and it'll both kind of block more uh, blades from going up and it'll, it'll, you know, up the number of blades we have kind of in 
uh, in, in our entity count, which we don't want either. So I think what we need to do is come right here and put in a row of slime blocks. So let's uh, knock this out. And if there's gonna be slime blocks right there, these are gonna to need to be uh, obsidian. So boom, boom, boom like that. And one, two, three, like that. And put the slime blocks in. I'm gonna show the slide over, over onto those cactus. That'd be a disaster. All right. And these will also need to be obsidian. And on the other side as well. So let's uh, put those in. And careful, crouch, 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 crouch. Right. Uh, obsidian all the way across. And that should do it for the inside. Now let's uh, go around to the other side and actually let's line this in with glass so that when uh, when we've got it all wired up, we can go check, make sure it's working the way we wanted it to, and uh, stack up so we can get over here. And now, oh, this actually shouldn't be obsidian. I was wrong about that. This should be a sticky or a sticky piston facing into the slime block. So let's see if I can get that here. No, okay, come on, I'll fall in, but grab it. Oh no, I wanted to grab it. All right. I'll go around to be back in a second. Okay, I got it in. And now I just need to put uh, one more sticky piston facing down. It might be a little tricky, so let's uh, come down like the temporary block here and then come down like that. Uh, yep, perfect. And let's come back up. See, I think I don't have, oh, I do have some. So far, so good. And now we also need to put a repeater right here. And this one will be on four ticks. And then when this goes down, it's gonna need to be right there on two ticks. Very good. And let's see, we're gonna wanna stair step up to there. So put some redstone on that. Uh, come across, I'm gonna get up below him, that's gonna be tricky. Um, put another piece of redstone right there and into that. I think that's gonna work, but I'm not 100% sure, so let's just give it a test, a test run, put a block there put that button right here and let's press it. And I can't really see what's going on. So let me just knock those out. Now I can see, and I press it. And it's not, oh, it's not working because I knocked a block out, silly. Uh, just listen and see if I hear it go twice. I did, but then it didn't go back up. Why not? Is that grabbing something? Um, let's just have a look at not grabbing there. Yep. It's grabbing this glass right here. So let's see, put the obsidian here. Let's give it another try. Uh, huh. Try again. Oh, it's blocked back. Should go ahead and do the yellow stain clay that we're going to use to put the block back and it comes back, perfect. Now all we need to do is uh, wire it into this and I think this two tick difference here, these is two torches here, that takes things down two ticks. So I think if we um, just kind of, oops, kind of fall down, but uh, we wanna go on top of uh, that torch with a signal that goes up, just stair step it up and that should Oops, not on top of the torch. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, we get a burnout clock. Uh, there we go, that's what we wanted. So go to there, put uh, 
some dust right there and into there. That should work. Let's uh, give it let's give it a test. Um, so put him back. Turn the system on. Get some guys spawning and go back and just see how it works. Perfect, just as we wanted. As you can see, he comes right to here. This kind of hops down and goes over. Um, just making so there's kind of, it does it again. There's no space for him to go back. Right when that happens, he pushes him up. Excellent, so that problem is solved. I can go ahead actually now and uh, let's, not black glass, let's make this obsidian just so we've got some, you know, just for the look of the thing and a couple of uh, nether brick there with the same on the other side. But this thing is a working, I think, I think, I'm a little bit optimistic here maybe, but that all of the problems are solved. So we've got uh, our problems with the, our problems with the pigment are solved now, our problems with the, um, with those blades just kind of sitting on the edge every so often, those have been solved. So that's good, that makes me really happy because I think that now there isn't any remaining kind of bugs in the system. And uh, let's see, and you can see there how, you know, there's only a couple blades here and just only that first, that first uh, dust is, is um, lit the way that we suggested. So that's great. So uh, this is going really well. This is getting pretty much done. I'm going to turn it off because I think we've, you know, we've tested it just fine. So that's the good news. The bad news is I just don't think I can really t carry out this video a whole lot longer. It's taken me a lot longer to uh, get all of these, this troubleshooting done, all of these problems kind of fixed and solved than I had expected. And, you know, I think it, it's going to be enough more, enough more time just to make it look nice that it would be really kind of another whole video, just double the length of this one. But that being said, I have spent a lot of time here at this, uh, at this farm. It is fully functional now, even if it doesn't look as nice as it could. I guess I do need to still put in some sort of storage, but I can just drop a chest right there for now. We can come back and make it look better later. So I think uh, this is going to be my last video kind of down here for a little while. I think I'm going to, you know, I'll probably just put a door here and maybe take a, an easy path out. Uh, so there's maybe make it kind of AFK safe off camera, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, make it all, all fancy and good looking just today. And when we come back, I'm going to do something different. I'm, I'm going to do something, you know, maybe not in the nether, something that uh, will, will kind of shake things up a bit. And then we can come back here, you know, some future dates and, and prettify it all. But uh, that's, so that's going to be it for me today. But thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me and, and help me uh, get all of these kind of problems here sorted out and, and make the farm work the way it's supposed to. Appreciate you joining me and I hope to see you again soon.